day seven of my European road trip. It was time to leave Lake Como and I was so sad. I couldn't record it because I did not want to ruin the moment, but my Italian mother just stood outside and waved me goodbye the whole time I was getting in the car. And as I was leaving, it was so, so sweet. She's gonna miss me. First, I drove to Lugano to return my rental car, hopped on a train to Milan, and had to rent a new car. It's wildly expensive to rent a car in one country and return it in another, so I did two rental cars and saved myself $1,000. This is where I was worried the car was going to blow up, but they assured me it was fine. And I finally made my first stop at an auto grill. It's basically a big rest stop where you can get food, go to the bathroom, get gas. But I wanted to see what the hype was all about, so I got a panino and quickly got back on the road to Monte. So I love a good panino, but god, they are so messy. It's about a three hour drive and I was headed to an Airbnb that is managed by a woman that I rented from 11 years ago. She is letting me stay at one of the properties in exchange for some photos and videos of a few of her Airbnb properties and I was so excited. Look at how beautiful this property is. The views were just completely outrageous. I wanted to sit on this patio all day and look at the view. You can see the four other villages that are part of the Cinque Terre, especially at sunset. She invited me to her home for a wonderful dinner. I had such a lovely time with Daniela and her husband Piero and I'm just feeling so grateful. 